up explorers welcome back to our channel we're the choose here for choose to explore where we teach you guys how to see the world so we just came from an amazing three days in tokyo where we explored and did so much we even went to mount fuji but that's on our previous video now we just took an overnight bus from tokyo to osaka it was only 17 dollars and it's about eight hours we opted to do that instead of the osaka bullet train so we're here as you can tell it's still dark outside it's 5 30 in the morning and we got a lot planned for this day in osaka so all day we're going to be out and exploring so if you want to know what to do in osaka and how to save money stay tuned you don't want to miss this one So right from the bus terminal, we walked to the Umeda train station, and here we were able to pick up our Osaka Amazing Pass. Now the Osaka Amazing Pass gives us entry to over 25 attractions in Osaka, and also includes a Metro Pass for unlimited rides for the day, or two days you guys choose, and it was only $17 for our day pass. So it's see the world, save a dollar, all the way in Osaka. So now let's get out and let's get on the road. Check-in is not until 4 o'clock in the afternoon and right now it's like 8 o'clock in the morning so we weren't able to check in but we freshened up changed our clothes and now we're getting ready to get the day started first thing on our day is the Osaka castle it's about a 20 minute walk from where our place is so let's go so one thing about Japan is a lot of things don't open really early so we actually were walking to the Osaka castle and we found this restaurant called Yayoi, I think. Um, and it was really cool because it opened at 7 a.m. and they have a lot of different foods. So I actually got a hamburger steak, I got shrimp, I got chicken, um, miso soup, and rice. Yes, I got the miso soup and french fries, but the cool thing about the rice is that they have free refills. So I kept getting a whole bunch of free refills on his rice and you add the soy sauce and it was really good. That rice machine was so cool. You literally just hit the button and it distributes the rice, as much rice as you want, which is crazy. You don't have to wait. You literally just hit the button. You don't have to communicate with the waiters. You really just order your food through a kiosk. So it's really simple and easy. Okay, and the first thing that we stop at is the Osaka Castle Garden and there is only one entrance and one exit to the garden and you cannot enter the main castle through this area but it was free with our amazing osaka pass so let's go through and explore while we're here so we walked around majority of the park it's beautiful to see the full foliage right now but to be a garden there isn't a lot of flowers or it's just a lot of trees and grass. It's mostly open green space. There's like um, schools here bringing little kids to have picnics or I don't know, field trips. So it's really just an open area. See the world, save a dollar. Save your dollar here. <laughs> just go to the castle. Unless you want to see amazing views of Osaka Castle because there are great views of it there. But I don't think it's really worth it to pay extra. <laughs> about 600 yen in order to enter the Osaka castle but if you have the amazing Japan pass that we're talking about it's free entry as well as it saves you about 30 minutes of waiting in that line depending on the time of the day so be sure to get that and let's enter the castle here all the way to the eighth floor we decided to take the stairs and not the elevator and Liv do you regret it? I don't well pretty much if you take the elevator it takes you directly to the fifth floor so you'd miss out on a couple of floors also there's also another elevator that will take you all the way up to the eighth floor so the elevator is only for specific floors um, but at the top on the eighth floor there's beautiful panoramic views of the whole city so it's definitely a must visit if you guys are in Osaka. And if you want to learn any more details, check out our article on our website, choosewixmore.com. And it was a 
nice beautiful about 10 15 minute walk from the Osaka castle and we made it here to the aqua liner which is once again free with our Osaka amazing pass and otherwise it would be 1600 yen which is like ten dollars but this is a beautiful scenic boat so let's go with the Aqualiner, which is a really cool boat that sails along the river. It has uh, windows above on the ceilings, as well as all around your side, so you get pretty cool panoramic views of everything along Osaka City. And it was about 40 minutes long, and I really enjoyed it. It was a great time to rest and enjoy the views. There's a similar experience that's right around the Osaka Castle, but that one was sold out for a couple of hours, but I was happy with this one. So we out here in Japan. What y'all think? Is this a black woman? I see the braids. I see the full lips. I think she's black. If it's black, big up to Japan. So we just made it up here to the Umeda Sky Building and this building is phenomenal. It's amazing. It's two interconnecting skyscrapers that have a cross bridge across and it is beautiful. And we actually got in here free once again with that Osaka amazing pass. So highly recommend that again. Yeah, so it's really cool here. You go up an escalator and honestly it made me a little bit nervous because I didn't realize how high up we were going to be going. But it's really great views as you go up the escalator and then you get up here to, I guess this is what, the 35th floor? Now the escalators take us up to the 40th floor. 40th floor, okay. So we're on the 40th floor right now and there's panoramic views all throughout. There's also a little like cafe area if you want to grab some food. And now we're going to go up to the top top and see what we see there. Ooh, let's go. <laughs> just walked up the stairs and we are on top of the sky deck it was beautiful because we're literally right outside it has beautiful panoramic views and I definitely recommend this one guys yeah it's really nice to see all the views of Osaka up here and I think you should come even if you're afraid of heights because it's really not that scary <laughs> um, what's really cool about here as well is that it's super secure so you know you're super safe up top here guys so let's go check out these beautiful views which we thought was just the Ferris wheel, but in actuality, it's a whole mall. The Ferris wheel is actually on the seventh floor and there are so many different floors here. And it looks like the Ferris wheel is actually in the middle of the mall. So once again, let's enjoy this trip. <laughs> Alright, so we are here at the Hep Ferris wheel and Liv, I'll let you go first. Alright, so I've never been on a Ferris wheel before in my life because I've always been afraid and let me tell you, I am still afraid, okay? <laughs> like, this is kind of really scaring me and just talking to the video is making me not think about the fact that I'm in a Ferris wheel. <laughs> so, it's 14 minutes total, we just kind of hit the halfway point, we're heading back down now, so halfway to the bottom. It's it's incredible views, but honestly, I'm really afraid of heights and I'm, I'm kind of scared right now. <laughs> this is actually my first Ferris wheel as well because I'm scared of heights. It may be difficult for you guys to believe that, but I am scared of heights. But the thing that I like about this one is it moves so slow, so you don't even think that you're even moving. Like, it doesn't feel like you're swinging nothing. It's super safe to me. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like you're moving, but I can just see all the skyscrapers go below me as we went up, so I'm like, that's a little bit scary for me. And there's actually an even larger Ferris wheel than this one, and it's the largest Ferris wheel in Japan, and you can see it from space, so you know we're not going to get on that one. Um, but it's also included in the Osaka Pass as well, so if you want to try it, you can do that. <laughs> 
So we just ate at Koko Ichibanya Curry House and it was phenomenal. Amazing Japanese curry. I got the shrimp with the chicken cutlet and it was great. I highly recommend it. I got the vegetarian curry and you can add whatever you want to it. So I added eggplant and spinach and it was really good. What I love about Japan is just how organized everything is. Like, you go right on a train, there's lines to where you're supposed to go, where you're not supposed to go, and this would never happen in New York City. So we just made it here to the Namba Yasaka Jinja Shrine. And this is a small shrine, one of the smallest that we've seen here, but it's a super unique one and super beautiful. Talk about it, Liz. Yeah, so there's actually a lion's head, and inside of it there is a stage. It was really cool to see, really nice. Come check it out. There we go. So we're walking to Sutenkaku and it's beautiful streets over here. It's about to be sunset, everything is lit up and there's so many beautiful uh, buildings and a lot of different games and festivals. I highly recommend coming over here, especially during sunset when everything is lit up here, guys. So also included in the amazing Osaka Pass is the tower slider and it's a beautiful, fun slide, right Liz? Talk about yeah, it. Yeah, so they were creeping me out. They were like, happy Halloween and then they shoved me down. It was like so much fun. <laughs> I highly recommend doing this one, but now we gotta go up to the observation deck, so let's go. So we made it up to Sutenkaku Tower, which is one of the tallest towers in all of Japan, and it's beautiful to see this observation deck. Everything looks so beautiful late at night. Yeah, it's really cool to see the whole city lit up. Up here, there's like a gold theme, so everything is gold. They even have like the billikins around, so it's cool to see. You can actually purchase another ticket to go higher up, but Liv and I are height done for the day. <laughs> it's only $2, though. It's very feasible. So we just walked down the Sutenkaku Tower, and I'm not gonna lie, that place, they don't want you to leave. Because every time you go down, there's something else, there's music playing, there's a whole lot of things going on. But we tried to get down in time to go to the Shinsekai Market, but it closes at 6 o'clock. So as you can see, it's pretty dead right now. But usually this is a really lively area with a lot of great things to eat, to see, and to do. So come check it out before 6 o'clock. Hostel. It was only $32 a night. It's a nice quaint room. It has beautiful uh, views outside and it's pretty centrally located about like five minute walk from the train. So highly recommend it at only $32 a night here. They have these all over Japan. So look at them. So I just got a taiyaki which is like a kind of like a cakey outside and a custard on the inside. I got a premium custard, so it tastes kind of like vanilla pudding on, on the inside and it's very hot and it's very good. All right, so it's nighttime here. We made it to Dotanbori, which is a world famous area. 
for the bright colors right here in Osaka. So let me show you guys what this is like. It's so bright. This is like Times Square over here, all the way in Japan. And we are here on Halloween, so you see a lot of really cool and interesting costumes. So look at these two guys. So coming from New York, I'm honestly never really surprised by crowds, but what I am surprised by is how respectful this crowd is. Like, if this is New York, the last time there was this many people, Kai Sanat was in the city, everybody went to prison, everybody was fighting, but this, you know, it's people just having fun walking around, everybody respectful, everybody having a good time, so, yeah. Overall, look at my man, he got a whole boombox on his head, but it's a crazy experience, but it's time for me to go to my bed. But stay tuned because next week we're going to be showing you our experience in Kyoto and Nara. So check it out.